problem at all with this heavier snow. Unbelievable. about you, but I find this kind of fun to watch. I should have moved this trailer. I was intending to move it, and I ran out of daylight the day before the snow. But I intended to move it off the way out there where it wouldn't matter. And now it's just in the way. It's hard to plow around. Notice those front wheels continuing to grip. It stays right there and plows. Always a little nervous about it sliding over into the trailer. I can push more half throttle now than I could have full throttle without the turbo. This blade doesn't require any third function or anything like that. Well, I think I finally hit a big enough pile that I can't stay in the... to get uh, two big snows like this back to back. So other than the drifting, we can get away with just pushing up these piles right alongside the driveway. If you are in an area where you get repeated snows without melting, having either a loader mounted plow or a blower would really help a lot so you didn't have to worry about uh, the size of those piles. I suppose the loader attached piles have become more popular recently, mainly because they're easier to, well, attach. They would be more compatible across different models as anything with JDQA or SSQA, if you're using a different brand, would be compatible. And given the proprietary quick hitch parts, they might be a little bit cheaper too. I bought mine before the small JDQA plows were available, so I didn't have any choice. But I have no regrets, as I've said. We get a lot of drifting snow here. Eight inches of snow. I don't know how much we got. I have no idea how much we actually got. But eight inches of snow will uh, often take two or three plowings because it keeps drifting back shut. Several viewers ask why I don't use the driveway markers. I would find them helpful, especially on this particular drive here. It's hard for me to figure out where it is. But I like to be able to drive along like I am here and push the piles a good ways back from the actual drive. This will allow a good bit of drifting before I would have to replow. Not sure I would be able to do that if I had the driveway markers there. I haven't found a really efficient way to plow this circle. I seem to have to kind of go around it, and then I end up having to plow what I would call the corners. I have to push them in together. I Maybe there's a more efficient way, but I haven't figured it out. I like to take these big drifts all the way off the driveway, and hopefully not too many rocks in that first in that first plowing. And then 
can come around a little bit later and, and get the rest of it and not plow all the way to the edge with that smaller plow. By not going all the way to the edge with this last cleanup, I'm hoping to leave the rocks in the driveway more than, than out in the yard. <laughs> 